Welcome back, RC Monster Truck fans, as Trigger King heads into the final stages of the 2024 season. This is event number four, Retro Class. We've got two events remaining, four brackets, and we got a lot of action as we look to crown a 2024 champion. Taking a look at the qualifying highlights for Retro Bracket 1, it's Master of Disaster leading the charge, Bigfoot 7 with Bob C. Chandler, and Bigfoot 4 with Josh Rhodes. Moving into round number one action, it's number 18, Overkill by Michael Spurlock versus Bigfoot 1, Chris Hackinson, the number 15 qualifier. Oh, a tight race to start off as you see the track layout, a tight sort of a G shaped track, tight turn with a sweeping turn. As we look at the TKRC replay, overkill flying Bigfoot one barely at the finish line by half a tire. Bigfoot one takes a narrow first race out. That may be setting the tone for the entire bracket. You, you we'll see what's in store can, as uh, we've got a 1989 okay. throwback matchup. Number 13, Gravedigger, Josh Drivers Rhodes, ready? and number 20, no problem, Dana Gosh. Drivers ready? Watch the lights. No problem, off to the lead. Oh, trouble in the corner. Gravedigger, a weird bounce onto the nose, but recovers. And powers to the victory. Grave Digger moves to round number two. Drivers ready? Barefoot Racer, number 19 qualifier. High up in the points, way down in the seating. And King Ghidorah, Iron Aaron James. Barefoot gets it done and moves to round number two, though. Number two of action, it's Master of Disaster and Big Boss. Big Boss had a buy through round number one when the ugly truck with Chris Lane broke. So easy pass for Cheech, but not in this round as Master of Disaster, the number one qualifier, takes the win. Barefoot, Chris Hackinson, the Dodge version. The number eight qualifier and number nine qualifier, Taurus two, Jeremy Mark in the far lane. Barefoot off to a little bit of a lead. Taurus makes up ground to the corner and carries it to victory. Nice recovery for Jeremy Mark. Number 12, Gunslinger Fred Kors and Monster Orange four, driven by Bob C. Chandler, number five qualifier. Two very different approaches, a very long wheelbase and a very short wheelbase, and almost even on the finish line. We're going back and taking a look at a replay. Let's see it in slow motion to see if we can make a better call. Gunslinger a little out of shape coming to the final set of cars, but a good bounce tightens up at the finish line, but by the left front quarter tire, Monster Orange 4 will take the win and move into round number three. Chris Hackinson, Bigfoot 1, facing off against Bigfoot 7, Bob C. Chandler, the number two qualifier, all Bigfoot battle. Hackinson in trouble in the near lane, charging at the finish line, but Bigfoot 7 gets it done all the same. Buffalo Trimmer, number seven, Jeremy Mark, Whoa. and Orangeinator, Chris Blank, the number 10 qualifier. Could be a pretty good matchup. Two similarly set up regulators from J Concepts. Blank off to the lead. Mark charging, not quite enough on the finish line as Orangeinator wins this round. Now it's the incredible and slightly ridiculous King of the Grove 6x6 Semi Monster Truck and Josh Rhodes in Grave Digger. 
It's amazing how well King of the Grove does, but not in this matchup as Gravedigger digs him a grave. Rhodes back to back, Bigfoot four and Barefoot Racer with Chris Parrish on the line. Oh, big save for Parrish in the far lane after a wicked bounce. But that's all it takes for Josh Rose and Bigfoot Four to cruise to victory. Thunder Chicken, Chris Lane, and Mile High Crusher, Troy Hawes. This is the 6 11 matchup. The Chicken is clucking with a win. Round number three of action getting started right here as number one, Master of Disaster, and number nine, Taurus Two on the line. Again, two J Concepts regulator. Can Taurus knock off the number one qualifier? Yes! Taurus takes the victory, putting Master of Disaster on the trailer. Gravedigger Josh Rhodes and Monster Orange for Bob C. Chandler. Monster Orange with a bit of a lead. Oh, trouble over the obstacle and more trouble. Oh, trouble everywhere. That was a filthy, filthy race. But Gravedigger got to the finish line first, stealing a bit of a victory there. Orangeinator, Chris Blank, and Bigfoot Seven, Bob C. Chandler. Two regulators on the line. Stock in the near lane and the two inch mean duck extension kit on the regulator in the far lane as Bigfoot Seven gets it done in the far lane. Bigfoot Four and Thunder Chicken. Oh, a little bit of an awkward start for Thunder Chicken in the far lane. I think he may have feared red light, but. Nonetheless, Bigfoot Ford gets it done, moving on to the semifinals. It's final four time as we've got Taurus 2 and Gravedigger in our first pair. Gravedigger locks it up around the first turn, but he's in trouble as Taurus looking strong, moving on to the final round. A little bit of a wheelbase adjustment on that truck over the last event off period. Looking good out there. In our other semifinal round, it's an all Bigfoot bash. Bigfoot four and Bigfoot seven. Rhodes versus Chandler. This could be big. Chandler off into the lead in the far lane. Rhodes charging. Not enough. By about a truck length. Bigfoot Seven moves into the final round, and that sets it up. A classic matchup, Bigfoot Seven, Bob C. Chandler, and Taurus, Jeremy Mark. This is a number two, number nine lineup with Taurus, the number nine qualifier. Taurus looking to walk away with this one. He's been looking good. Chandler's been looking good. Chandler off to the lead. Smooth and consistent. Bigfoot Seven takes bracket one of retro action for event number four in the 2024 Summer Series for Trigger King. The few brackets remaining. Bigfoot Seven sits atop the point standings with other trucks trying to charge and make up some ground. But if he keeps winning like this, it'll be hard to catch. We thank you for joining us. We appreciate all of our sponsors and we'll catch you next time.